here's a 2000 year old puzzle, simple enough for a fourth grader, yet it has stumped history's greatest minds. It starts with a perfect number. Example, six. Its divisors are one, two, three. Add them up, you get six, a perfect number. It equals the sum of its divisors, excluding itself. Here's another one, 28. Add its divisors, one, two, four, seven, 14, and we get 28. The next one is 496. Again, its divisors add up to 496. Notice that all three of them are even. Now here's the mystery. Does an odd perfect number exist? Many giants like Euclid, Fermat, Descartes, and Euler chased this mystery. These legends made discoveries, opened new fields of math, but still got stuck on this seemingly simple problem. Even today, after 2000 years, numbers up to 10 to the power 2200 have been checked. No odd perfect number has been found, nor has anyone proved that one doesn't exist. So, the next time your child gets stuck on a math problem, tell them this. Even the greatest mathematicians got stuck. Because getting stuck in math isn't a flaw. It's how real learning happens. There's no such thing as a math person. It's about thinking, trying, growing. And that's what we do at QMath, where struggle isn't feared, but embraced as part of the learning journey. Book a free trial class today and start your child's journey to becoming math fit.